This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne was given a tour of One Kid's Place in North Bay on this Thursday morning. And then she spoke to the media about OHIP Plus. That's the new program that was introduced in the 2017 budget. And this program will make prescription medications free for anyone 24 years of age or younger, regardless of family income. And that program will be implemented on January 1st, 2018. Premier Wynne then spoke to the media about a variety of issues around the north, including that of job creation and the Ring of Fire. Is there a timeline in place for the development of the Ring of Fire? So we have been very committed to working with the communities that, uh, that, are, that surround that region. There are nine Matawa nations that, uh, that surround the Ring of Fire. We've worked with them and are working with them within a, a regional framework agreement. I think we can look back over our history and we can see um, countless stories, countless situations where um, Indigenous people have not been part of decision making. Indigenous people have not been part of the stewardship of the land and um, have had imposed upon their region bad decisions. And so we're working in partnership with uh, First Nations. My objective with the development of the Ring of Fire is, yes, of course, for companies to be able to get those minerals out of the ground and to be able to, uh, to um, develop communities and and work with them but but my but that is a, a means to an end. The end is that those communities and the young people who live in those communities and the families who live in those communities would have access to economic prosperity, that they would have uh, access to part of that uh, that economic development. The Premier also touched on the areas of the budget that focused on job creation in northern Ontario. Well, and, and you know, that's what the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund has been about. It's about uh, making investments that can be a catalyst for job creation. And there have been thousands of jobs created across the North because of uh, those investments. I talked about mining. Mining's in a good place right now. And we're, you know, we're investing in mining innovation and, uh, and development. And, and I was talking earlier to uh, Dr. Grise about the, uh, the, the Northern Ontario Medical School. You know, that was, that was, uh, um, that was, a, an initiative that we put in place because we want to we want to make sure that if someone wants to live in the north if they want to train in the north they have that opportunity and that communities can be whole and uh, and you know we don't have uh, Dr. Grise wasn't going to venture to say how many uh, of the uh, the interns that she sees actually stay in the north but what we know is that there's a greater chance if someone is able to train in the north that they will stay in the north. Premier Wynne then came up to Nipissing University to take part in the Phonom Conference, which included the leaders of all three major parties in Ontario. But one party that was left off the invitation list was the Northern Ontario Party, and their leader, Trevor Holliday, was not happy about not getting a seat at this conference. Well, we wanted to be here to show that, you know, we are available. Not, uh, not, we've never received any invitation or announcement about the uh, Phonom meeting. We did know it was happening. But all the, we were told that all politicians from Northern Ontario were invited. We're, nor, we're a registered party and, you know, we didn't get any invitation, no notification saying, you know, that we could be invited when we are the only party in Northern Ontario that, with the representation. The Northern Ontario Party is looking to not only make a statement to Northern Ontarians, but to Ontarians across the province. And they're doing so by making this announcement. We're announcing... Mikey as our candidate for Don Valley West. I'm running because I'd like us to have a form of government that makes sense for all of Ontario. The North and South have many separate issues and neither should be an afterthought of the other. And I think that could be best be served by each region having their own legislature. So in terms, would, would Don Valley West become part of the, the Northern Ontario party? How, how would this really work? <laughs> well, um, it would be actually probably placed me in a difficult position at some points, but um, I would vote. I would sit in the legislature as a member of the Northern Ontario Party while also representing the residents of Don Valley West. I believe that's a job I can do and I would vote for the, in the interest of my riding constituents at all times, but I would also vote in the interests of my party whenever possible and I would hope those two wouldn't, wouldn't conflict. <laughs>
Um, are, are you from that area? Uh, why, why that area specifically? Uh, I'm working in Toronto now and I'm from Sudbury originally, so that's why that area. And also because it's Kathleen Wynn's riding. If you are interested in watching Coach Go North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.